Counting down the top 25 wing groups in college basketball into number two is the Duke Blue Devils. And the more we talk about this group, the more I think they should have been number one. And they I'm should. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. But they I'm, should. I'm starting to regret it, man. And you'll see the number one video on our channel when it comes up. But it's a smaller group of players, just quantity wise, than this. And man, this group is not short on talent. Five players on the Duke roster are players we are going to consider wings. Cooper Flagg, Isaiah Evans, Malik Brown, Khan Knupel, and Mason Gillis. Three stud freshmen, two veteran stars that were brought in to support them. This group can do a little bit of everything from scoring to passing to defense. If this team was a team, if they were one through five, I think this team would be a top 10 team in the sport. They're that positionally versatile and good. Uh, and it's just the wing group. So in my opinion, looking back on it, we had a unanimous team at number one that will be revealed next. You can probably guess who it is if you've watched the other videos. I think we botched it. Hand up. I think we all botched it. I think this group should be the number one wing group in the sport. Uh, let's go through the depth chart, though. We know Cooper Flagg's going to start. How many other guys from this group of Evans, Brown, Knupel, and Gillis are going to be starters for the Duke Blue Devils? Oh, see, that's 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 honestly the hardest question I think I'm going to get when I'm doing this wing video for this group because I really don't know what way Shire is going to go about it. Um, we do have Malik Brown in the in the wing category, correct or no? We do. We do. We do. I I don't know if it's because other people are getting to me, but I feel like Malik Brown and Cooper Flag are gonna start. But maybe towards the end of the year, it's Khan starting. Khan and Coop. Yeah, if the Khan offseason buzz is as real as people make it sound, he probably finds his way into this somehow. But also, like Proctor and Foster are guaranteed starters. So if you're assuming you play a center with those two and Cooper flags a starter, there's only one spot up for grabs here, whether that's Brown, Gillis, Evans, or Khan. I think it's one of them, unless it's Scion. You just, you just got to kind of pick your shot. I'm going to buy the off season buzz and say that Khan ends up being the starter here. Khan and Coop, Coop Khan. There's too many people talking about Khan being the guy here. Like it, it's just, it's crazy if it's not real. And can you say his full name too? Khan Knupel. Yeah, come on. Special K. It has to happen. Uh, okay. Is this team on this list for their depth at this position or the top end talent? Both. It's both. It is both. Oh, what are we? We blew this. They're number one. We really did. I'm. I hate us. I really hope we get shit for this. This group has the guy that coaches candidly voted the best player in the sport. <laughs> And then it has two other five stars and two other veterans. One that just went to the national title. Like what? I don't know what we're doing. I, I have no us. idea what we're doing. Uh, I but I think if it was one or the other, if it's top end talent or depth, I actually think it would be depth cart. Like I, I think this group is deeper more than it is top heavy, even though they have the best player in college basketball. <laughs> I hate. I'm so I'm just so mad at us, man. It's truly insane. Uh, we normally do a one A one B type exercise. That's what we did for back courts. How would you prioritize the impact of these players if you were stack ranking them impact wise for Duke this year? Cooper Flag, I assume, is one. Then go down the list. Who's next? I'm gonna go Coop. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go Khan, Malik, Gillis Evans. You got Evans last. I think so. I'm I'm the impact thing is like we got stuff that Evans can do from those other two guys at the start. I need like defense old vettiness. Impact. Yeah. I, I think Brown and Gillis are going to provide defense old vettiness in practice and on the bench. Uh, okay. Gotcha. That's what I think. Like I, at a certain point, Isaiah Evans is still a stud man. Like we're just, So we are fully in on Duke. If they embrace to let the young bulls rock, move. let the young bulls rock. Let them do it. Why not? They already have been doing it for years, but like I Duke is not a program that shies away from playing young talent. Uh, yeah, I would go Cooper flag one con two, Isaiah Evans, three Malik Brown four and uh, Mason Gillis. All due respect to you, but I think you knew what you were signing up for here. And Mason is on record saying this is the most talented group of players he's ever been around. I think he's probably accurate in that assessment. That probably means he's not going to play a ton. Uh, what's the biggest strength of this group? Um, I they're the deepest wing group in the country. Versatility is yeah. my answer because in any given game, if you need defense, okay, put in Malik Brown. If you need scoring, you have 
Isaiah Evans and Khan. If you need the best player in the sport to do everything, just give the ball to Cooper and get out of the way. Uh, if you want someone to stand in the corner and shoot, it's Mason Gillis. You have five different options. John Shire is going to have to play the right pieces, but you can't really go wrong when you have that many good players who can do that many different thi- things. Excuse me, I have the hiccups right now. What's your biggest question with this wing group? I think my biggest question is the old guys maybe maybe kind of holding back the young guys. Not Not like their fault holding them back, but you know, the seniority thing coming into play when you have these young, talented guys that need to be on the floor. I'm really proud of my question for this group. I think this this is the question that out of all teams, all position groups, this could define the entire college basketball season card. Duke, like the Duke team. Is this the Wings team or is this the guards team? Oh, that is the good question. That's a good one. Because it doesn't matter how good Cooper Flagg and Isaiah Evans and Khan are if this is Tyrese Proctor and Caleb Foster's team. And respectfully, that's a great backcourt. It's a great backcourt. I even went back and forth with some Duke fans that were kind of like, yeah, 18 feels a little low, but I get it. I get it. Tyrese Proctor and Caleb Foster are not front runners to win a national championship if those are the guys that are supposed to drive you there. They're just not. And maybe they take leaps. But if this is Cooper Flagg's team, and Khan's the second leading scorer, and Isaiah Evans is doing things, and Malik Brown's flying around defensively. I buy this team as a national champion, but it, it's clunky because I can guarantee you Tyrese Proctor heading into his junior year thinks this is his team, and, and the brotherhood is certainly promoting this as if it's Proctor and Foster's team. So we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to flesh it out. Everybody's going to have to be happy, but that's my question. Does this team run through the wings or does it run through the backcourt? And uh, I think on paper, it might run through the backcourt, and that might be a problem for this group. That might be the best question you've ever asked. It's a great question. What's the production projection? There's a lot of guys here, so uh, just hit me with basics on this. Yeah, I'm going to go Coop, 17 a game. I'm going to go Khan, 11 a game. Um, And then I think all the other guys are going to hover around six. Yeah. I think there's a chance Isaiah Evans gets to double figures too, but if it does, that probably means like something went wrong with Caleb Foster. So the safe bet would just be Coop and Con, and everybody else is kind of a bit player giving you offense and defense. What a problem to have. Five stars being bit players for John Shire. Yeah. Yay. Don't you love that? If you like this video, we have 24 more, and I encourage you to watch the video on the number one group so that you can agree with Carter and I that we got this completely wrong. It's that time, Cart. Football season is approaching, and you know exactly what that means. It means that we are both going to bet and bet a lot with our friends at MyBookie. Yeah, MyBookie is the best and premier sports book used by us over here at Sleepers Media. They have everything you need, Greg. With football season approaching, there's nothing I love more than looking at a nice Saturday slate and even leading into a little bit of Sunday, dipping into the NFL, but there's no better place to do it than with my bookie. And I think we got a great offer for the folks over uh, at my bookie if they want to tap in with us. We sure as hell do. And I'm going to tell you all about that offer. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the great benefits of betting with my bookie. My bookie is safe, secure. Most importantly, when you win, you get paid quick. If the first two legs of your parlay hit, cash out early, use those funds on another bet or let it ride for a chance at a bigger payday. With football season coming, they're going to have a bunch of great things in store for you, whether you're looking to bet futures, game lines, player props, all of it is available with our friends at MyBookie, and you can get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000. There's a link in this description, promo code SLEEPERS. With MyBookie, make sure you get that 50% deposit match. Use those funds. Maximize your chances of winning as football season gets here, and we'll be there with you every single step of the way.